Hey everyone, it's Jordan here at Pure Elliott Wave, and I don't know if you knew this, but up until January 2022, I'd been trading for two years, and I was basically just banging my head into the wall trying so many different methods and trying to get a handle on the market. I actually blew up probably around eight accounts along my journey, and then finally I found Elliott Wave, and since then, I've been studying like crazy and I've actually gotten to be a profitable trader. So Elliott Wave, I don't know if you know this, but it's so valuable because you know when your ideas are wrong and it also gives you some crazy risk reward ratios with some really high accuracy predictions as well. So I've taken some crazy steps towards my goals of being an accurate analyst by meeting Lara and training under her for the past four months. I'm also graduating shortly with a degree in economics and this summer we'll be producing our own proprietary statistics to enhance our analysis even for further. Uh, I also say this to you to let you know that we are committed to the most accurate analysis you'll find out there. And we're about to launch yet another market with the Euro dollar. Next week on Monday, May 15th, we'll be producing five text reports a week so you'll be able to keep up with the market and a video every Friday done by me. Also, I'll let you know my positions, my stops, and you'll be able to ask us questions in the comments on the Pure Elliott Wave website. Sign up below using the link and you'll be notified by email of our special grandfather rate on Monday that will never ever change and it will only be offered once. Unfortunately, the live most recent YouTube updates will soon be stopped with our launch, so I look forward to providing you with the best possible analysis here at Pure Elliott Wave. And again, you can click that link below to get started. Let's get into the analysis for the day. Last week, price moved lower as the Elliott Wave count expected. And this week we've had a little bit more downward movement as of today, Monday. For the short term, we're expecting a pullback to a target zone of 1.02862 and 1.01079. And then thereafter, we're expecting the bull market to resume. So let's get into the weekly chart here. You can clearly see our previous bear market ending in September 2022 and then some upward price movement. So this bottom here in September 22, we have a few pieces of evidence to support a bottom there. And firstly, there was a decent amount of RSI divergence between the March 2015 bottom and December 2016 that was bullish divergence so RSI made a higher low with prices making a lower low. Also money flow reached oversold at this point for the first time in 12 years and ADX reached very extreme and it was the most bearish extreme trend that the euro dollar had ever indicated in its history and also Another piece of evidence is if you go out on the monthly chart, you'll see a very long trend and you can also place a line on this trend right about here. And that line corresponds with this giant upward month here. So when that trend line was broken, we got a large thrust upward. So that is our evidence currently for a technical bottom here in September 2022. And from there, we are counting an impulse wave upward, which subdivides very nicely as a five wave structure with the third of a third wave being the steepest currently. We're looking for a pullback from this intermediate degree first wave. And this pullback so far has unfolded probably as an expanding flat with A, B, C subdividing as a three wave structure, three wave structure, and then a five wave structure to the downside. The C wave usually exhibits Fibonacci or equality proportions in a flat with the A wave. You can also see we are currently testing this best fit channel that has a few tests on it from that low in September 2022. On the daily chart, I'd like to see a breach of this channel with the candle underneath and not touching for confirmation of that breach. On the daily chart, 
we're going to take off from the top of intermediate one. Taking off from the top of intermediate one, we have our corrective structure A, B, C, subdividing as an expanded flat with B retracing at least 105% of minute A, and this is actually retraced 113%, which fits well with an expanding flat. You can see the previous best fit channel was broken. MACD indicated momentum building and falling off, and now we have momentum increasing to the downside, which corresponds well with this impulse wave that is extending to the downside. I previously mentioned the target of 1.01079, which was the 618 retracement of this large impulse upwards and that retracement downwards. And we also have another target for you here, which gives us a zone of 1.02862, and that is where C reaches the 1.618 extension of A here. So this is A and we believe C could reach that Fibonacci extension downwards. Invalidation point to the upside is at the sub-minuet level where no fourth wave may enter any portion of a first wave in an impulse. On the primary hourly chart we'll take off from the top of minuet 2 and zoom in closer to this structure downwards. Here you can see the top of minuet 2 as previously mentioned and we have the extending wave at sub minuet level within this third wave at minute level which is one, two, three, four, five, and then that is subdivided into micro, one, two, three, four, and five. Currently we're looking for the bottom of the fifth wave at micro level. We've used a technique created by Elliot where you draw a parallel channel from the ends of waves one and three, place a parallel copy on to the furthest extent of wave two, and wave four and five may find support and resistance at the edges of this channel. Short-term target is calculated for minuet three to reach the 2.618 extension of minuet one, calculated that based on the end of minuet two, and that target is 1.07463. This alternate wave count shows the possibility of intermediate one being complete and intermediate two also being complete as a shallow zigzag. The reason this is an alternate is because intermediate two does not trace very much of intermediate one for a sharp zigzag correction. Usually the A and the C wave tend towards equality or Fibonacci ratios. So currently this correction seems shallow for this large intermediate one but it is still possible and it is still on our radar you can see this previous best fit channel drawn from here encompassing this previous low and the top here we did have a breach and a retest of that channel invalidation for this count sits pretty close below at 1.05 one, six, nine, that could act as resistance in the future as well. We measure a Fibonacci extension coming from the intermediate one and measuring that off of intermediate two. We have a target for intermediate three to reach the 1.618 extension, uh, one decimal two, nine, three, seven, eight. On the daily chart, we'll take off from the top of intermediate one. Here's the top of intermediate one showing more detail for the A, B, C zigzag for intermediate two. Both of these counts do incorporate this very clean five wave structure for the C wave. You can't see it in much detail here on the daily, but on the hourly, it's a very clean five to the downside. And we had our five wave structure for minor A, a three wave structure for minor B, and then another five for C, which is a five, three, five zigzag. Next, we have our motive structure for minor one, which subdivides well as a five wave 
contracting diagonal and this diagonal is very evident because of all these overlapping waves. They each overlap into each other. So you can't really get a third of a third with a fourth wave not overlapping the first wave here. From the top of minor one here, we have the possibility of an A, B, C zigzag for minor two, which may be completed very soon. Target for the bottom here is for the equality of length between minuet one and minuet five, which is common, and target for that is one decimal zero seven five eight nine. On the hourly chart, we'll take off from the top of minute B and view this price action here on the hourly. On the hourly chart, this is the top of minute B. You can see the impulse structure to the downside. One, two, three, four, five at minuet level, completing minute C in the zigzag for minor two. An Elliott channel has been drawn from the end of minuet one to three with the parallel copy on minuet two. This Elliott channel can act as resistance for minuet four if it's not over yet. Could find resistance here and then to the downside, minuet five could find support here along this channel. If this level 1.10019 is breached, we would know that this impulsive structure downwards is broken and upward momentum is likely. This level is calculated from the Elliott wave rule that within an impulse, no part of wave four may enter the price territory of wave one. This is the weekly volume data for the euro dollar. Week over week, we had a slight decrease in volume, but if we reference other tops, you can see that volume often does decrease towards the top, and then it slowly increases as the trend continues downward. That's true on the weekly and the daily level, so it's common to see a decrease on a potential reversal Money flow is neutral and unbalanced volume is within this technically weak range. On the weekly technicals, you can see our previous spinning top doji from two weeks ago and a shooting star before that. Two potential reversal patterns in an upward trend and last week we had a strong bearish candle to the downside before price to reach resistance around 1.117. Next, our support sits below at 1.050. The 200 day moving average is still upward sloping at this point. Since ADX is no longer trending and actually reversing from this extreme bullish trend, we'll use our support resistance and stochastics to gauge reversal and support levels. RSI is neutral and ATR is decreasing overall with the upward trend. Stochastics are leaving overbought, having reached overbought last week, so that is a potential sign supporting the Elliott wave count and the other technicals that the trend is shifting. The daily volume data, we have a very strong signal down here from on balance volume where we recently broke out of this significant range. This range had, depending on how you draw this line, you could draw it a little bit higher than I've drawn it here, but it would have three to six tests depending on how we draw it. And it's moderately flat and it's been held for about two months now. So this breakdown, breaking away right here, is a strong bearish signal. The decreasing volume for a new trend is common for the euro dollar, so that doesn't impact the bearish outlook currently. Money flow sits at neutral. For the other daily technicals, we can see a previous plethora of top reversal patterns, and that was followed through with some very bearish large red candles. 13 day moving average is currently sloping down above the 50 day moving average, so moving averages are still moderately bullish. Resistance overhead just at the top of the chart and support below. Still have a long way to go until we get there at 1.050. 
ADX is reversing, indicating no trend right now from the extreme conditions. And so now we'll use stochastics and support resistance. And stochastics are reaching oversold. So when they do reach oversold, they can hang out there a little bit, but when they do reach oversold, we could potentially see a correction from this downward trend. ATR is increasing with the decreasing recent prices, showing that volatility is favoring the bearish momentum. That corresponds well with the previous downward ATR trend with the increasing prices, showing volatility could increase even further as this downward trend continues. Overall, the technicals support the Elliott wave count very well that the trend has shifted. We're going to assume the trend will remain downwards until proven otherwise for at least the next few weeks. That's all from me here at Pure Elliott Wave. Hope everyone has a good week.